Hey guys, Anthony here, and welcome back. This is episode two of Resident Evil Revelations 2. Um, it's out on PC. I, I finally um, like looked up some stuff about it because I wanted to see what some people were saying about it. And a lot of people are saying they like this one even better than the first episode, so I'm kind of curious to see um, you know, what's ahead. Uh, as you saw the last one, kind of left on a cliffhanger. Uh, in true Revelations fashion, as everyone is being released episodically. Um, so, let's see what's going on here. Previously on Revelations 2. Claire Redfield, you're coming with us! Where have I been taken? So much suffering. You don't even know what to be afraid of yet. Who are you? I am the Overseer. Please, send help! I'm here, baby. Please be alive. I don't have any parents. Over there. How do you know? Well, that's one thing they're left out of the brief. Your daughter's name is Moira? She's dead. What? Check it. Is this the place? The Vossid? Whatever? Yeah. Where life begins. Thompson's? Yeah. I'll be examining this. <laughs> oh, both! Keith! Underpants. Come on in. Huh? Huh. Newbie's okay too. Oh, I knew it was you guys. All right. <laughs> uh, any requests? We woke up in the middle of the woods. How about you? Some kind of rundown prison. Gabe, Gina's dead. <sighs> Shit. Thompson's gone too. Yeah, but I remember to take his bracelet. Eddie would want me to find out how it ticks. You chopped off his fucking hand? Sometimes you have to make the hard choice. Come on, let's see what's in this building. All right, well. From that cutscene, I like how they mentioned Kajuju too. That's kind of interesting. We haven't heard any mention of Resident Evil 5 since Resident Evil 5. 
Alright, we got all these items here. Decoy bottle. Alright. So, with these, we can probably make, uh... Let's see what we can make here. There we go. What do you want? So they're a part of Terra Save as well. I need to throw you at the wall and see who sticks and who doesn't. The wall in this case is a special virus that I injected into each of you. What? You what? We will all die. There's no question of that. But one of you still has a chance of dying well. I'm no lab rat. She can stick it right up or I'll see an ass. But if we've been infected with something, oh, that man. bitch stuck a needle in me? Just put it out of your head. Right for you. Come on. So this this takes place before Barry even comes to the island. This is pretty much showing us from when we last saw them. So that makes sense. Man, I hope Fisher's okay. I'm recording this with my new Blue Yeti mic, and uh, this thing's yeah. fucking amazing. So if you notice the change in quality uh, for the better, um, thank the mic. Do you think you can fly this? Once I repair it, there's not enough voltage. It's a new battery. It's some fuel. Oh, and we're gonna find exactly what we need in this shit dump. From my experience, yes. Help me look. Find a battery and fuel. Well, that's... that's great. Alright. Just making sure there's no, like, herbs laying around here. Could use your help. All right, let's go back to her and open this shit up. Cool. Got a parts box. Always use more parts box. Um, I don't know where they want us to look though specifically. So let's see. Another chemical for the. Could use your help. Capcom has added split screen in this as well on PC. That was kind of like a big thing where like, I really don't know who plays local co-op on PC, but they took it out of the PC version, and that was kind of like a big thing that pissed people off. Damn. Hang on. There we go. Awesome, more parts. Always use more parts. Um, Alright, so... Still trying to figure out, like, where they want us to look. So we got a little town here, kind of. Not really a town, but... Structure of it. Alright, um... Of course. Who would it be a Resident Evil game without any fucking enemies? Alright. Alright. I don't know where he came from, but I'm sure they're kind of within all the environments. Entrance is blocked. Well, we need a drill. We need that drill. So that's what we're looking for right now. Let's 
Cool. Could use your help. Little hidden section back here. Oh, there's two parts to it. There we go. Awesome. More parts for me. Hell yeah. All right. I'm sure we're going to see more Barry, too, in this part, considering that's kind of how they're doing it. So they can give everybody kind of enough time to, like, you know, show off their character. Where is he coming from? What the hell? Where was that? What the hell? Why did I hear the growl and then it just disappeared? <laughs> like, what the fuck was that? Oh. What does a decoy bottle do? Oh, sweet. That's awesome. So it's like a mine, pretty much. A little trip mine, but in a bottle form. Pedro. Oh, he's got the drill. Don't scare me like that, Claire. Look, check out what I found. If you see any weak walls, I bet I could drill through. Well, yeah, that's the idea, man. So I found a little island in dusty old book. It's not listed on any maps or anything, so I thought it thought a cool cool chance to venture to uncharted island. I'm so there. Turning a helicopter to get there wasn't cheap as it took. And they touch. Now I'm locked up with this dirty old room. These dudes were. Damn. This poor guy. More weapons for me. We so could use that drill of yours right now, if you don't mind doing a little demolishing. No problema. Just point me in the right direction. Where was that drill? It's back here, right? Was it? Yeah, here it is. So yeah, that guy got stranded on the island trying to catch rats. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. <clears throat> I always like reading the files, though. Is this the place? Okay, stand back. The files in six did seem kind of like useless, but. Uh oh, they're back. Why? We gotta hold them up. Don't let them near me. Awesome. Hell yeah. Those things are awesome. <laughs> they get the job done so quick. Good shit. Come on, reload, reload, reload. There we go. Awesome. I was there, man. Awesome. We're in. All right. All right. So hopefully we can find what we need in here. Oh, classic RE4 barrels. 
Oh yes. Awesome. Might as well pass that to her, because she doesn't need them. Well, I can't really stealth kill him, can I? So. Oh, okay. Got the fuel. Gotta find that battery. Where the hell would the battery be in this situation? Pedro. Her location might be the key to getting off the island. <laughs> I just don't want to waste the extra ammo on him. There we go. Damn it. So the battery could be anywhere in this fucking place. I, I forget where we stopped looking, actually. Um, we stopped looking over here, right? That's where we found uh, Pedro. There's a way around. Let's see. Moira, we need you. Really? Why didn't it go off? It should go off. Oh, so it goes off when she crossed it? The hell. is in here. Why do I feel... Okay. This door. Battery! Battery! That's everything. Let's bring it back to Gabe. Please don't tell me Gabe's like dead or some shit. That's gonna piss me off. Because <clears throat> we need to go. You know, you know it's not that easy. You know it. Even a Resident Evil 4 fucking Mike. Mike! Bow! Get shot down. Shit. Like where? There we go. I need a second part. Sweet. Expansion bag, sweet. So she can carry more shit. That is awesome. Alright. 
Alright, Gabe, we're coming back. Hopefully we don't got enemies in our way. Hmm. That looks like it could be used, but I don't know. Everything's conveniently in the town for us. Isn't that great? Awesome. That should be everything you need. Good work, Redfield. Not that I'm surprised. <clears throat> now it's my turn to work some magic. Three seat chopper repairing voodoo magic. Uh. You have got to be kidding me. It's the overseer. She's luring those things right toward us. That's yeah. Not fair. What do we do? That's not fair. <laughs> Somebody kill that goddamn siren. All right, well. All right, looks like we got to do it. it. It's coming from the bar. Please get that thing fixed. I feel like I should just run from these. Why do I feel like that was too easy? Terra save, motherfucker. Expect no. shit like this. Oh shit. Oh. Nice. The AI actually does shit. That's awesome. Oh shit. It's like technically just couldn't save him. I thought I could on that. No ammo for days. Fuck off. Oh my god. Well, nothing, literally nothing I could do. Through the stairs, too. <clears throat> Damn. I was trying to heal, but kept getting interrupted. <laughs> it's 
<laughs> depending on the situation. Yeah, so we gotta do this again. They're coming through the window! Then fight back and stop them. I don't know what to do! Step one, kill out. If only Pedro used his gun a little bit more, that would kind of help, considering the ammo fucking is not existent <laughs> at all in this part. You can't hit him through the fucking window. Well, Gabe should fucking come. Come on, fucker, get the fuck off me. Might as well heal now. Don't back away, keep shooting them. Come on. God. I wish I had more empty bottles. Come on. Fucking reload. Jesus Christ. Oh my fucking god. The fuck off me. Jesus Christ. Pedro? Whew. So if your face that goes to fear completely, you just turn. I'm dead. Oh sh. Well, I can't run because I got smacked by a guy on the stairs. So, <laughs> hang on, we got this, maybe. I hope. I wish we could jump out the window.
Poor Pedro. I hope I'm running in the right direction. <laughs> no, I'm not. Well, rip. No idea where to go. Where are we supposed to go? <laughs> Run to where? The helicopter door didn't open. That's a dead end. I really don't understand. Shit. Claire? This fucking guy. I like how that triggers now. Damn. I like how that triggers like while I'm in the middle of them just chasing me. Like I'm dead, technically. What is it not going to trigger until I fucking go in the one I have to be away from it for it to trigger? Why isn't it triggering? The cutscene. That would make too much sense, right? For it to fucking trigger when I'm next to it. Like, I don't understand what they want me to do. So I have to run all the way around so it can trigger. That. When I can easily just, it can't just trigger when I leave, so I can just run into the building. I gotta see what's in here. Hopefully it's health or something. No, it's always gonna be a machine pistol. God, this is gonna piss me off. Like, how did that cutscene trigger the first time? Do we just have to run out <clears throat> for as long as we can until... I think that's what it is. Which is kind of annoying, because... Damn, hurry up, man. It's definitely not worth getting ambushed up there for the machine pistol ammo. Dead end for days. Oh, come on. Stop punching me with your pussy ass fucking shit. No health. And nothing to go on. I don't understand why we gotta wait for this dickhead. Oh, shit. 
Here! I'm right here, finally. Go, 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 oh my god, shit. What the fuck? Help! Help! Jesus Christ! I am running as fast as I can. Jesus Christ. It's unlocked. Go. Will it hold? I hope so. I'm gonna be more until I can find her some healing items or something. Wait, Neil. What about Gabe? I know, but I can't risk staying here. Look, don't worry. He's ex military. The man eats danger for breakfast and craps it out by dinner. Alright, she's good. Alright, well, that, that was an exciting and kind of insane part. We just had to pretty much wait it out until he came. Dickhead. <laughs> but, uh, I'm liking this episode so far. It's pretty cool. So, uh... Yeah, stay tuned for the next one. See you guys.